Good morning and welcome to a productive day in my life. I am dragging this morning. I feel like I really haven't been getting the best rest. So I was like, you know what? Setting myself up for the new year, that's something that I want to start prioritizing now. So last night, I tried to make sure I went to bed a little bit earlier. And then I also took one ashwagandha gummy and one melatonin slash um, magnesium sleep gummy. Instead of taking two of each, I just took one. And yet, it knocked me out. I slept so well. But this morning, I'm still like trying to get everything back together. But I do feel so much more rested. So welcome to a productive day in my life. We're going to be doing a lot of things that are focused on content creation today. So if you're curious about how I kind of batch my content, this is the perfect day to come along. Let's see what else we have going on. I'm going to start the day off with a workout. I'm going to make some breakfast. I haven't decided exactly what I want quite yet. I was thinking I wanted an acai bowl, but now I'm kind of like, maybe I just want some eggs. Um, and then I don't have work necessarily. So my main job as a career coach is technically closed for the next couple of weeks. What is it? I'll go give you something. Okay. I'll put, wait till you clear. Why are you looking at me? Why are you what? scared? <laughs> Why should be scared? No, this is great and it looks like it's portable. Yeah. I also love that it's chic. Okay. I'll charge it. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Okay, we're back. My husband surprised me with a gift. It's our anniversary. Um, it actually is our anniversary, but we celebrated early um, because he's having surgery tomorrow. <laughs> so it was just easier to go ahead and celebrate over the weekend, but it was nice to have like a little surprise gift on the day of too. Super sweet. Um, but like I was saying, today is going to be super productivity focused. Batch filming content. I need to run a couple of errands for the house. Um... Yeah, I don't really know. Just come along with me for the day and let's get into it. We'll just pick y'all up. Okay, so this is the full fit from Pink Lily. It's a super cute set. Maybe I should... I just feel like I want to give y'all the full vibes. And this is not giving y'all the full vibes. Okay, maybe that will help. All right, let's try this again. Not the line. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I will figure this out. Okay, there we go. So this is a full set. It's a top and shorts. I am wearing a large in both. They're from Pink Lily. Super comfortable. This material is really stretchy, really amazing. It comes with a built-in bra. Honestly, I'm probably going to take the cups out um, next time I wear it because I just don't like how much it's giving up here. Okay. Um, I will make sure to link this set and it's super easy to kind of go through and see what other colors they have so if you want it it's pink lily and i have a code for 20 percent off um i'm gonna use the monthly code so if you're watching this after the month ends just leave me a comment and let me know if you want the updated code but basically you'll get 20 percent off either way so let's get into this quick i'm going to do a matte pilates class this morning um, I have not worked out honestly like consistently in about three weeks so I really want to get back into it easing back in I'm doing a Peloton workout today so yeah we're going to do 15 minutes 2000s Pilates so I figured that would be fun to kind of just get back into the swing of things and start getting strong again I'm not going to use the reformer until I feel like I'm stronger with Pilates because I haven't been doing it so I'm going to start off with matte Pilates and then work my way up so Oh, let's work out. <laughs> so for now, just get comfortable with your toe taps. Nothing is moving in the low belly. Nothing is moving in the low back. Nothing is moving in your pelvis. Thanks for choosing Peloton. And that is why I did not do the reformer today. <laughs> Y'all, like it's crazy how you skip a few weeks and then it's kind of like you're back to square one. So consistency I, I cannot preach it enough in all areas of your life just be consistent or you're gonna be paying for it later like me so let's get some food gosh y'all i was not paying attention to the time i thought my class was at 10 30. i've been in this class for five weeks and i still can't figure out when it is it is at 10 so we're late so i'm gonna but I have to go like this, but obviously 
Um, let's see, what can I toss on? I hate rushing. Also, I would really love to take a shower, but it's fine. I will just do it after because I can't miss. Um, I actually have not told y'all. Where are my buttons? I like I haven't really mentioned much about this class so I am actually taking an ICF class which is a course through um, so it's a course focused on the International Coaches Federation which means I will be a fully accredited coach I haven't decided if I want to do like general life um, I don't think I'm going to do career I'm also considering maybe wellness coaching but I'll figure that out a little bit later but this course Basically, it's just like the highest regard you can have as a coach, which is really exciting. Um, but it's also really intense. So that's why I haven't like talked about it too much anywhere. <laughs> but you know what? I'm like, let me just talk about it with the YouTube people. Um, I would love y'all's encouragement and just like accountability. It's a long course. So I won't really be done until like summer 2024. But I'm getting the hang of it, getting into the swing of things and learning so, so much. Um, why am I talking? What I need to go. <laughs> but... <laughs> Basically, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing, um, which I'm really excited about. If I can just remember and actually be on time for class. Good morning, coach. Good morning, everyone. Um, yes, I was definitely thinking about intuition in relation to um, how we work with our clients. Oh, I'm so ready to eat. I planned on eating before class. Class is 90 minutes, so I am very hungry now we're just gonna do some eggs and like literally heat up lunch meat to make it super easy buttery spread from Trader Joe's and just put a good bit in the bottom of this pan I think my fire is way too high if you don't want your eggs to be basically overdone make sure your fire is not too high Pink salt. I'm going to add a splash of milk. So we've just got some turkey, egg, honey goat cheese, and some pita crackers. I feel like this is going to keep me full for quite some time. And then while I eat breakfast, I am going to upload content on Blush's Instagram. So I was filling in um, as like the social media manager for Blush, which is the um, company that I life coach for. But I am now officially the new social media manager so i am going to upload my wellness wednesday post i usually go through and save sounds ahead of time so i've already got all of those things saved and i'm going to actually use the content that i recorded this morning since it's about wellness and finish uploading that while i eat breakfast i feel like a brand new person showered and clean for the day. I also went ahead and did my skincare and I did like a full body moisturizer, everything. Like I just, oh, feels so good and cozy. If you guys, I've already made a summer hygiene routine, but if you would like a winter hygiene routine, just comment down below, especially for people who with dry skin. Like I'll let you know some of the things that I've been doing to keep my skin moisturized on my face and on my body as well. So I also took off my lashes. Like I just fully got rid of everything. So I'm going to do a new set of lashes today. I'll show you all briefly how I do that. If you've watched any of my other vlogs before where I'm like doing maintenance or getting ready, you've probably seen me do my lashes, but I'll give you a little update. 
So these are the lashes that I like to use. They're cluster lashes and they go underneath and they can last up to a week. Um, I usually don't go a full week just for like cleanliness purposes. I don't want my eyes to get like infected or anything like that. But honestly, they're still on. Like I have to put on, um, what's it called? Like oil and water and all that kind of stuff to get them off. They don't just fall off randomly, which is really nice. So to go with the lashes, I also use this little stick. It has the bond and the seal from Falscara. And then I use the Flutter Habit made for this lash glue. This combination is literally perfect. So first I just go through, I like put these, the shape of like direction of my eyes. And I actually don't use all four. I only use three because four just feels like really crowded. So I'll just peel them off with my little tweezers and put them in the tray to get them ready. And I just line them up in order. Honestly, you don't even have to do this part. It's just a step that I like to do. So then you're gonna take the bond side of your falscara. So I like this side because it, let me look in the mirror. I like to use this one because, there we go. It helps them stick right away. So obviously if you just use this your lashes are not gonna last a week, they'll last maybe a day. But if I do this part, it helps them stick on there easier and just works perfectly with the glue. So only one side at a time, and then I'll take my glue. So then I just take the glue and I put it on the band, the top band part, not too much, just where it bubbles a little bit and goes all the way across. And now I stick that underneath my lash, just like that. And I'll use my, I know y'all can't see at all. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't wanna stab my eye. Okay. And then I'll just use my nail to like push it up a little bit and make sure it's secure. So my right eye is done. You can see the difference. This is a pretty like natural set, especially for me, um, but they still just show up really nicely and I think it's great for everyday wear. So I'm gonna let those dry a bit while I do the other side. Now, like I said, these last about a week, but if you're like, I need more than a week for whatever reason, this is another great product, the Falscara Overnighter. It looks like this, kind of like a liquid eyeliner and you would just take it and run it underneath kind of like a strip lash, um, but I rarely use that. Maybe if I'm going on vacation, I wanna make sure they stay, but for everyday use, I don't really use this product. Okay, lashes are done. Now, while my lashes are drying, typically I would go into makeup next in my like getting ready schedule, um, but my lashes are still drying. So I'm gonna go ahead and do hair. Um, and also I'll talk to you guys about what I've been doing um, for styling my hair with these extensions, protective style and all that kind of stuff. Um, I feel like this has been my best look and it's definitely something I wanna stick to if I'm going to have extensions in. I really like the process, how quick this was, and I was able to do it myself. So I have to be pretty careful. Notice I'm like holding the hair so it doesn't pull on my scalp. Okay, so I wanna tell y'all who kind of gave me this idea, um, part of the idea. So let me go on TikTok really quick. Focus, okay, how do I find, I feel like I'm following so many people on TikTok that I don't really know anybody's name. So let's see if she happens to pop up. Okay, I found her. So Ayana on TikTok, this is her. Okay, so. That, I literally commented on her video and I was like, I have never in my life considered doing clip-ins as a protective style. Like I would just do them when I wanted some extra length. Honestly, I didn't blend them very well sometimes, um, but they're so easy as a protective style. So I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit under the veil of this hair situation. Um, so I did a hybrid install. I've tried this once with a bundle and I did a sew-in in the back. Um, I can't sew, thread was falling everywhere. I ended up having to cut my bundle into like five pieces. It was a mess. So, and I think I cut a little piece of my hair trying to take it out. We can't risk that anymore. So what I've done now is this part of my head, 
is the back. I hope y'all can see that. So it's all, my actual hair is all braided down underneath here. And then I just have about five rows of clip-ins, like from the shortest, like, what is this? Yeah, shortest width to the longest width, working up to half of my head. So this entire bottom half of my hair is all braided up, which is super great to be protected. I just put oil in there super easily. Also, I can, like, take these off and on on my own whenever I want to. Okay, now this part of my hair, most of this is mine. So everything here in the center of these shorter pieces, that's my hair. And I left it out in the middle to have something to cover. And then partially up here, I have tape-ins. So this is why it's a hybrid install. So you can see, yeah, there's a tape there. So I think I did three tapes here in the front and it just blends really, really well with my hair and with the clip-ins. So that's how I did my hybrid install. Honestly, it took me maybe 30 minutes. I've had this hair in over a week already. I'm going another full week and then I'll get my hair professionally done on Friday. I just like wash and um, wear my regular hair. But I have loved this. It was so fast, so easy, and I love that I'm protecting my hair, but I still get like a little bit of length of new style. So let's spray this. I have not done anything to this hair since Saturday. And today is Wednesday, so it's probably not good. So mostly I focus on like where my real hair is out. Get the ends, want to make sure that they're not going to get um like fried and dyed. So this is Prep Rally by The Dry Bar. I just use a bunch of random different hair protectants. I haven't found one that I love. If you have any suggestions, I would definitely be all ears. Okay, so where is my little comb? I wanna just take my hair only and this little brushy clampy thing. I don't know what it's called. So I pull it to the front a little. And I have my flat iron. This is by FHI Heat. Love this flat iron. And just go down and bump it under. Also, I only use my flat iron on 400. So I don't burn my hair off. Then comb through it, make sure it's nice and has good movement. And then I'll worry about like these little pieces toward the end. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue going around. I do wanna do kind of smaller sections cause I want my hair to be like this for the rest of the week and not have to redo it again. So again, just a little bump under. I'm going for like a straight style, which normally I'm a curls girl, but this time I decided just to do a little straight with the bump so I can kind of tuck my bangs behind my ears and things like that. Okay, so usually while I do my hair, I also catch up on YouTube, so let me see. The girlies have posted. Um, I just like watching YouTube, even though I make YouTube videos, but also it's like inspiration for me to keep going, especially when I'm just like, oh, I am tired of this. Okay, so who do we have? Oh, we got a new vlog from Aaliyah. Okay, so we're gonna watch Aaliyah's face. At least start it while I do my hair. My hair is mostly done. I'm gonna go in with my Moroccan oil. Not too much, just about that amount. And put it through my hair. I don't know what is wrong with these clip-ins. So the ones that I used were from Better Length because they're actually made to mimic black girl relaxed hair, which is what I have. So I wanted to have like a really more seamless, like this looks like it's growing out of my head type of look. Um, but I guess maybe last time I used them, I put so much hairspray. So they are like crispity crunchity, but I don't want to take them out and redo it. So 
We're just gonna put some oil on them, make it nice and smooth, so it'll last for the next few days. Okay, so now we just brush it, and make everything look really nice together. Yeah, that was like the perfect straight look I was going for. I'm trying this new edge control from the Frontal Queen. Um, I was watching Jazz's video, Jazz Turner. She has YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, all the things. But I was watching a YouTube video where she was talking about how she blends her leave out or like styles her sew in basically. Um, and she used this product. So I figured I would give it a try. This is only about like the second week that I've tried it. I don't dislike it, but I'm not like, oh wow, I love this. I feel like it is one of the best edge controls I've used, but I'm also super picky with edge control, and I have not found one that I absolutely love. But this kind of like tames the flyaways and still makes it look really cute. All right, so let me wash my hands and we'll get into this makeup. Playing trances, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we were out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive, get down dirty. I got the bad guy. You want some love, be back when you feel like calling. So we are ready to rock and roll for the day. I actually just filmed three TikTok videos um, because my camera was dead. So I figured I would use that time to get started on my content. So outfit one, three videos already done for TikTok. If they're short enough, I'll also use them on YouTube shorts. And then if I like them enough, I'll also use them on Instagram. So next up, I also, so I told you I film social media content for Blush, where I do life coaching, but I am also a career coach for a nonprofit and I film some of their social media content as well. So I just printed out my scripts for that. I'm gonna read over them and go ahead and get that filmed another way so I can have it over to them. And then they have, you know, we're off for the next couple of weeks. so. I'm gonna just send it in and they have the rest of the time to do whatever they need to do with it, but I wanna make sure like as far as on my end, everything's getting in on time. Um, so yeah, let's just set this up. I don't feel like bringing out my whole ring light just for the short form content. So I use this little light. I'm sure if you're on TikTok, you've seen it all over TikTok shop. Um, so even though it's not dark in here, like you can see the difference that it makes. So I'm gonna set that up and then I'm gonna use my phone and my little tripod. Just tr clean my camera. I do use my front camera most of the time just so it looks more like natural and like personable. Okay. Oh, that's literally perfect. Okay, yeah, I can actually stay right here and get this done. Let's talk about the secret sauce to success when learning remotely. Alright, content for my job is done. Honestly, like... I kind of ate that up. So that was the best, I feel like, smoothest process I've gone through with filming content for work. So I definitely like this setup because I can keep my notes here and also just completely go for it and still try to bring in those aspects of naturalness. So that is done. Next up, I am going to get into filming my first YouTube video. So I'm filming a video about my 2023 Amazon favorites. This is a fun one, which is why I dress a bit more relaxed for this type of video. Um, but yeah, let's get into filming of that video and I will share with y'all when I'm ready for my next video outfit change all that kind of stuff I may eat in between because I'm starting to get hungry but we'll see how the day goes 
just finished filming the Amazon favorites video I'm trying to decide because usually I do change clothes in between but I only planned three outfits because I forgot that there was a fourth video I needed to make as well so I think I'm just gonna relocate to the chair over here film that fourth video and then I will break for lunch and then change for the rest of the content all right it is time to eat lunch I have filmed three TikTok videos. I filmed two YouTube videos and content for both of the companies I work for. So I think we can take a break and then just wrap up with filming the rest of the things in a few. So I'm gonna make lunch. Um, typically I do meal prep and this week I did a, sorry, I'm making all this noise. I did a one pot meal prep. Um, and I don't have a bowl. So basically my one pot meal prep was gumbo for the week. Um, I know gumbo is supposed to be like a specialty thing, but I literally make it probably about once a month because I'm obsessed. So I'll just be having gumbo and rice for lunch chill a little bit and then get back into filming the rest of the things to wrap up my content for the day. So I'm gonna eat and then I'll see y'all in a little bit. You can't tell me that it's not a whole new day. Also, this dress has a crazy slit, so I'm gonna hold it closed, but I'll be seated for the video. So literally, oh, it's still the same day. My energy is leaving. I'm trying this like mushroom coffee to see if that will help me, but basically I just changed my lip change my earrings and change my outfit. So first I'm gonna do a couple shots over here, get like pictures that I can use for thumbnails and things like that. And then I'm gonna go film another video on this outfit. And I'll probably film a couple of TikToks here too, just to like change up the scenery. But this is how it works. So let's get this set up. My battery is dying on my phone, but hopefully it'll be okay. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance But what if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed I wonder, would you love me better if I go? I'm not home I wonder, can we trust the stars above to love? this dress but it's not made for people with like any kind of body going on because like every time I walk it shifts and moves so I don't wear it much but I think it'll be nice for pictures so I'm gonna get some standing shots right here oh, I wanna know can we trust this dress up to let us know how to go One good shot from that. I did not love those, but that's okay. So now we're gonna flip this around, bring it down. 
We're gonna do some front facing videos for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, that kind of stuff. Just take a look at yourself. Do you really think it's gonna help if you always fight in yourself? Try to forget how you felt Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Alright, so now I'm doing like a little lighting test to shoot my next YouTube video. Same outfit, but the sun is going down and I really need to get out of here by 5 so I can get this stuff mailed off. So I have about an hour to film these last two videos. There's an outfit change in the middle, but I think we can make it. So I'm going to film those. Um, my phone battery died. My camera battery is dying. I, my internal battery is dying. But I'll be so happy when I have all this content batched that I can just sit and edit and put everything out without having to worry about it. <sighs> We're on to YouTube video number four. And then I've got two TikToks short form content to film and we will be done. So I am tired, but I'm so happy to be getting this finished. And I'm going to wrap a gift for, well, it's already, I don't know. We're going to package a gift for my client, try to get out of here and get it mailed off. So I'm going to film this last video and then I will be back to wrap everything up. All right. While I am here and I'm in my final outfit, I do want to grab just like maybe one more short form content video to set me up to finish out the year and go into the new year with content so I don't even have to think about it. I can just sit and edit everything and not have to worry about filming. Um, so let's see, I've got a list of topics here. I don't know if I wanna talk about that. Literally like this is how I film. I started just going on TikTok and talking and that seems to be what people enjoy and that's what I enjoy too, so. That's what we're gonna be going with. Um, oh, this one could be fun. So we're gonna share a milestone of the year. As we are approaching the end of 2023, I was thinking about some milestones that I hit, especially on a professional side of things. <sighs> we're done. Y'all, your girl is tired tired my phone is tired because it's dying so let me close all these apps and plug this in um so i'm gonna give this a little charge i do have a car charger but i don't want it to be like on its deathbed um and let's pack this gift for my client hey girl hey i know you're expecting your gift because i asked for your address like over a week ago um if you're watching, I'm sorry, I'm being slow. So I'm gonna pack it up right now and we are going to UPS and we're gonna mail it out so you can get this gift and um, yeah, that's it. So let me go get it because it's in the car and I need to find a box and write a card. Just take a look at yourself. Can't even be your own friend cause you're way too stuck in your head. How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do, nothing that they could say. find a sticker so I'm just gonna seal this and put it in a bag um okay question is it legal to ship things in a liquor box I hope it is because that's all I have okay now I need to get shipping info so I actually use pirate ship which is like a website to print out my shipping labels at home. So for one, it makes it easier to just go in and drop things off. But also, I think it's like a little bit cheaper, or at least you can see all the different rates if you're using Pirate Ship. So that's ready. 
Amazon return in my bag um, and we're gonna roll out and then that'll be the closeout of this video so thank you all so much for spending the day with me a productive day in my life mostly focused on content creation um, and you just get to see a little bit behind the scenes of how much work I've put into this channel so thank you all for being here and I just really appreciate you if you're new join the community and I cannot wait to spend more time with all of you in 2024 bye please like comment and subscribe and follow me on instagram at affirmations with amber